The World Wide Web is a wonderful place where millions of websites offer ways to shop online, learn new things, or connect with your favorite communities. While all this sounds great, there's an important topic every website owner should consider, web accessibility. What is web accessibility, you may ask? When we say something is accessible, we're talking about features that will help people with disabilities use and navigate it easily. In our case, we need to make sure that all of our features can be used with the help of assistive software, be it screen readers, implementing keyboard-only navigation, and having a properly structured HTML output. Of course, there are other subjects that you may want to tackle, such as having good color contrast on the site, information being easily discoverable, and so on. Additionally, many jurisdictions around the world mandate that your website must meet strict accessibility guidelines so that anyone can use your website with ease. Luckily, Blocks includes many of these accessibility features right out of the box. It fully supports keyboard navigation and screen readers. It renders semantically correct HTML, so no accessibility app can complain about incorrectly structured pages and gives you access to tools that you can use to tweak the layout and design of the website so that it is easy to read. Let's check out some of these implications in action. We have a sample website here that we will use to demonstrate how the system works. First, let's check out keyboard navigation. So what does that mean exactly? It means every element on your website can be accessed using just the keyboard. This is useful for users who have limited movement of their body and use assistive devices for their computing needs. The tab key plays a big role here. It lets you move through different elements of your web page, highlighting the one that's going to be selected whenever the return enter key is pressed. As you can see, if we keep pressing the tab key, we will cycle through all the actionable elements of the page. Using something like shift tab moves the focus backwards. And sure enough, pressing the return enter key will execute that action. That makes sense so far, right? Now, using keyboard navigation alone can be useful for some cases, but where the scenario really gets put to work is when used in combination with a screen reader. A screen reader provides audio cues for whatever is selected, even if it doesn't have a visible text label. So for example, if the user has navigated to various header elements that are only represented by their icons, the system will speak out loud what the current selection will do. That's because we've added special HTML attributes that screen readers can understand, and these parameters describe what the specific element does. Let's pause for a moment and check this out in action. On a Mac, we'll use the voiceover feature as a screen reader. But of course, we are also certified for the most popular solutions out there, so even if you've got a Windows computer, you will be able to use tools such as Narrator or NVDA. During the next segment, you'll hear each highlighted element being read out loud by the system. Visited, link, image, block C, banner. You are currently on a link. To click this link, search for, what are you looking for? Search text field, list box pop up, search. Select category, search in category, pop up. Search. Link, plus 73099321312, banner. Current page, visited. Link, home, list five items, visited, link, shop. Expand drop down menu, menu pop up. Visited, link, news, link, about us. Link, contact us. Group, banner. Visited, link, dashboard. You are currently on a link. To click this link, press control, option, space. See how things fall into place? This example highlights just how important it is to have an accessible website as anyone, no matter what their condition, will be able to access and use information available on the website. Now that we're on the matter of HTML, let's check out how the theme renders its HTML output and follows all modern web development standards. By opening the browser developer tools, we can clearly see that the HTML output is clearly structured and is even easily readable by someone with no technical knowledge with easy to understand HTML tags like header, main and footer. Even menus are represented by a nav tag, which indicates that the element is related to the website's navigation system. While this might not seem like much, correctly structured HTML actually helps various assistive applications quickly identify what each element does on the website. 
One other important aspect of having an accessible website is having an easy to read website. This doesn't just mean having information organized correctly, but having a good color contrast scheme, as well as a layout that holds up even when users zoom in using their operating systems. Of course, you get access to very granular controls throughout the Bloxy customizer. You can easily fine tune these aspects. Bloxy's powerful color palette gives you unlimited flexibility when styling your website elements. Moreover, the fluid topography options let you create the perfect experience for your visitors with precise controls. Before we close out, we must remind you that it is also important to check the accessibility implications of the other software that is installed on the website, such as plugins or third-party services. The page builder used in the project must also be taken into account. Bloxy makes accessibility a priority for those who need it. And if you wish to learn more about what Bloxy2 has to offer, continue on onto our website or click on one of our other videos to keep watching.